for ages, but I'm back again and I'll be showing you how to roast the cauliflower head. And you tell me how beautiful this looks. No one can ignore a cauliflower this beautiful. Right, Arka? Right. And Arka, Chef Arka, Arka has been working on something else. That's why you couldn't share any of his secret recipes. But today, hopefully, he'll be mixing something, helping yeah. out somehow. And yeah. how do we start? First of all, because this is a pretty large head of cauliflower, if I put this, spice it and oil it, put in, a, in the oven, it will take me almost an hour to get it slightly tenderized. And even if I tenderize or cook it through, it's not gonna have enough saltiness. Uh, that's why I think it's better to slightly pre-cook it in salted water, which I started boiling. And then we'll do the rest. So I'll gently and very carefully immerse this into this hot boiling water. And I forgot to put the salt. Mm -hmm. I also forgot to cut the leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, it's good I still remember how to speak English. I haven't been on my channel <laughs> for so long. So you don't eat the leaves. I don't know unless someone prefers it with the leaves. You uh, can leave it on. <laughs> but we leave, leave it on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift it on, yeah. Abek, are you sad? I no. Know. Something what? happened between these two. They're not good best friends any longer. What happened? He, he, he keeps on being mean to me. Duh. Duh. Yeah. Instead of older brother being mean to youngest, this little one rules everyone. Okay, so I'm immersing this into water. Yeah, he really wants to go. Just like so. You just want to make sure the water covers the cauliflower completely. And if it doesn't, halfway through cooking, and this is going to be cooking about 7 to 10 minutes, not too long. Uh, just turn it once. Turn around. And as always, salt to taste. Just make sure you have enough salt. What happened? Okay, so I'll start this cooking just to tenderize it very slightly and make sure it absorbs the saltiness. And while that's absorbing, we'll make this extremely powerful marinade to spice it. I'm just kidding, there is nothing powerful about it. Okay, it's I'll just do. olive oil, about a quarter yeah. of a cup. Just eyeball it, nothing will oh, happen. If you need more, you'll just add more. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Back, yeah. Look at your eyeball. If you don't go warm to the table. <laughs> he went very violent. And then mm. use your favorite spices, anything you prefer Grand with your cumin. roasted vegetables. Oh I'll use some cumin. A quarter of a teaspoon. Arkadjan Arizona Chahan and Kelly Kores. Let's share, okay? And then turmeric is a must spice in my kitchen and with my food because it's very healthy. He's not a must person at this moment because he, he's gonna bother everyone. A little bit of turmeric. And curry goes very well with veggies in general. So another quarter of a teaspoon of uh, curry spice and garlic yes i'm gonna add oregano uh, a little bit later garlic two or three cloves of garlic arkajan turniki jinkaharni we don't want him to cry okay Thanks. if you be my best friend i'll leave will you be his best friend yeah I don't okay then i will see you i want it then be my best friend and then I'll let you mix. Can you know. be his best friend? He'll let you mix. Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> okay, I added the garlic. And which won't gum and but it just came in because mom did Black it. pepper is a must. Quarter of a teaspoon of each spice, you want it more, add more. Cayenne will be very good too, but I'm adding Aleppo peppers. It's spicy already, so I'll skip cayenne. And hopefully our camera guy, he ate papa. Our papa is 
seeing what he's feeling. Yes, let's help. Let's help. The look at Kashi. Big oh. hope. And about half a teaspoon of halepo. Which Big. is, which always hurts your eyeballs. Wait, wait. And oregano or so thyme. Any. Let go! Uh, no, he just put salt in. It's okay, Arka. The salt is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Add some salt. It's okay, yeah. Add some salt. Why not? Add salt. It's always good to add some salt. Wait, that's my pepper. Even pepper is good, Arka. That's fine. No, yeah, we already added pepper. Look at this one, Kashi, Papa, Mama, and I think we're done with spices. You don't want it to be too A little bit salt, yes. Do you want it salt? Uh, no. He yeah, had decided. Okay, That's and some good. Himalayan salt. And what I'm waiting for is yeah. for this cauliflower to slice yeah. it. And I'll show you the rest. Oven started preheating to 450 degrees. That's it. For oh, now. Oh, come here. Do you want that friend then? Oh, no. Oh, friend. If you want to be my best, if you be my best friend, I'll let you play. What are you doing? Love you, Beth. Love you. Love you. You're my best friend. You let. I'll let you make This looks ready, so I'm gonna turn this off already. And if you have fresh tomatoes, it's a good idea to line your baking pan with fresh tomatoes. I don't have fresh tomatoes, but I have prego sauce, any kind of, even marinara, any, anything just to have some juice under this cauliflower before you send it into the oven. So what I do, gently, a drizzle of olive oil, like a tablespoon, and about quarter of a cup prego sauce. Mm -hmm. Like so, and if you're noticing, I also had some Brussels sprouts in my fridge. I'm just gonna put that in uh, with the cauliflower just to bake it uh, and get it done with it. So, what I'm gonna do is just slightly spread this sauce and put my cauliflower on top of the sauce. Even some juice oh. will be fine. Oh my god, look at the color. And the color changed into even darker. Yeah. Ooh, it's a blue one. Mm. And it's a good idea to check the salt while it's cooking. Mm. It's perfect. Next step. Why? Let me put my smell sprout. Smell it. It doesn't smell as you would wish it smells. Mm -hmm. There's some Brussels sprouts. Well, cauliflower, cooked cauliflower doesn't yeah. smell good. Let's all be honest. When I made this for my Armenian food. channel, I, I cut some zucchini, fresh tomatoes, and spice it with cauliflower. Turned out amazing. But anything you have on hand will work. So what I'm going to do is there may be another fight over who's gonna spread this. I am. Let's see who wins. Let's start with back. And all you do, you just what? generously um, brush it. This is me. Powerful marinade. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Now put this. He's a chef. You try it? Can I try it? Wait. Mm, but you're gonna take it all. Back, it's my turn. Oh, and I got some panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna sprinkle it a little bit just to give it some Aww. crunchiness. I can just make it in honey. He's doing the whole thing. Not the whole thing. It's a big cauliflower. Okay, see, he's sharing. He's your best friend. Finally. They call you best friend? I'm gonna cook this open. And if you want to avoid this cooking process, boiling process, you're going to cook it covered at least 25 to 30 minutes. And then you'll open it, sprinkle with uh, panko if you want it uh, crispy, crunchy. And cook another 25 minutes until it's nice and golden color. Me, right? Mm -hmm. You're done, guys? Because I want to take turn too. Okay. And also brush this Brussels. Oh, out. okay. 
Let's brush these. Mm. Oh, brush oh, brush. Let's save some mm. for mom. It's okay. Okay. Alright. Mm. Mm. Just one. Here. Okay, just don't finish it. And I'm sending this to preheated 450 okay. degree okay. oven about Done. 10 to oh, 15 minutes. Right. Okay. And that's just it. Do these ones. But it may good. take about 30 good. minutes good. for good. them to brush it. Good, good. that's good. That's enough. Mom, it does not take 30 minutes. Okay, and you don't want to waste any of this power. Yes, <laughs> because we need it spicy. Yes. Yeah. And flavorful, not just spicy. Yeah. And yeah, hot can... pepper. Hot pepper is a must. Yes, we mm -hmm. need hot peppers. Yeah, we love hot peppers. I they don't hot peppers. We mm -hmm. have peppers. A little bit more. And some of that. Some of this. Oh, 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 there. Yeah, grab some. Don't be shy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why are you shy? Try. It's very good. And this will be the top crust. And that's it. I'm sending this to the oven and I'll see you when it's done baked or roasted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Arka. I bake this 12 minutes. As soon as you see the crust is nice and golden, it's done, you don't wanna overcook it. And in general, anything you can eat raw, it's not worth to boil or overcook. Basically, we're like destroying all the nutrients by boiling, but anyway, it's still vitamins, it's still good for you, and it's very hot. So I'm gonna give this a couple of minutes just to cool down Calm down, chop some herbs, and I'll show you how it tastes. No, 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 I can't show you how it tastes. I'll show you how the inside looks. This looks like exotic dish. I can chow some. Flour, it looked more appetizing and more beautiful when it wasn't cooked so I'd suggest to use it for fresh salads the purple cauliflower white one looks much better okay let me grab a plate fork and knife and enjoy it for you let's see I want to slice it like the cake Perfectly. Ooh. Let's see. Looks beautiful when it's cut. Okay. No, looks perfect, not just beautiful. And if you have any preferred sauce, dip sauce, I don't know, dipping sauce, anything, go for it. Or even fresh salad will go very well with this. So nicely. Hmm. First, the Brussels sprout. Let's dip it in this sauce. You know, I forgot to salt the Brussels sprouts. That's okay. Anyway, salt is bad for you. <laughs> Let me test this one. Look how the multicolor it came out. Some pinkish and then purple. Amazing. And so juicy and tender. It just melts. Very tasty, very tasty. And hopefully many of you will try and love it or maybe fall in love with this dish. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not writing a recipe for this simplicity. Just make it, eyeball it, just enjoy cooking and it will turn out the most delicious. See you soon.
delicious.